we are officially in Victoria. You Straight to the pub for a schooner to celebrate. We stopped into the Werramore pub for a beer. It has the title of Victoria's most outback pub, and well, let's just say we were the only ones there. After our schooner, it was time to head to fine camp. We decided to stay at the van park in Curlwa, as it was close to a few things that we wanted to check out. After setting up, we got some rest, ready for a big day. Our first stop was to the Perry Sand Hills, located just out of Wentworth Township. The sand hills make you feel as if you're in the middle of the desert, but in fact, we were only 20 kilometers out of a township. Check out all of these tiny footprints in the sand. We wonder what creatures made these. Also, check out this massive gum tree buried beneath the sand. It was a great place to run around and stretch our legs before getting ready for our next stop, the Wentworth Historical Jail. The jail is one of the oldest jails in Australia and is now a popular tourist attraction for the area. The jail is still in excellent condition considering its age. Entry fee is only $8 per adult and you can browse around at your leisure. Once finished looking around inside, you can actually buy some antiques and collectibles at the front store. Ames had to restrain me from buying some old bottles. <sighs> we then popped across the road to the Wentworth Museum. Entry into this place was only $5 per adult and it was jam packed with goodies. These were our two favourite items, an old amp meter and this massive giant Murray Cod. One more museum to finish off our educational morning, we popped into the Big V Auto Museum, which was only a few kilometers from our van park. It's a relatively new museum, but the owner told us they are constantly adding to the exhibits. If you're a car lover, then it's definitely worth a look. Now we got a little slack with our footage. We moved to Mildura for a few nights and the only thing we recorded was these friendly geese we gave water to. The days were 40 degrees plus. It was bloody hot. After a few days in Mildura, we headed south to start the Silo Art Trail. Our first stop was to the Patch Woolock piece. En route to our next piece, we stopped at the Mali Sunset Cafe. Great coffee and worth a stop. Not far down the road was our next silo art, the Roseberry piece. Our next piece was down in Brim. The Sheep Hills piece was one of our favorites. We loved all the vivid colors. Finishing off the trail with this piece at Rappanyup. 
After a busy day exploring the Silo Art Trail, it was time to find camp. We headed to the Kuyara State Forest Free Camp for the night. We got set up, then after an early dinner we trekked up to see the Melville Caves before sunset. Only a few minutes in, we saw our first wallaby. We love daylight savings. We did this walk at 8pm and check out how much light is still about. Crazy, hey? After seeing the lookout, we headed to the caves. It was only a short stroll to the caves. A few tight squeezes and we were in. They were really nice and cool. The perfect cave temperature. So we're just at the Melville Caves in Victoria. It's a, it's a free camp, it's a national park. Dogs are allowed. How awesome is that? They've got their own fire pits, so we've got a fire going. And yeah, look how awesome it is, free camp. So you've got the drop toilets over there. And there's, uh, there's some walks over there to do. And you've got the Melville Caves to go explore. So there's lots to do if you want a bit of exercise, free camp, national park, and you're allowed your dog with a fire. This is the spot. What do you reckon, Rast? The next day, we decided to do the six kilometer loop for some more exercise and to check out the other lookouts. Once we finished our loop, we packed up and continued on trekking south. We had another free camp in the state forest in our sights, down to Mount Alexandra. It was perfect spot to hide out over the busy Australian day long weekend. Only a few other campers scattered about, plus we had an excellent radio reception to listen to the Hottest 100 countdown. Once the weekend had passed, we headed into the town of Maldon. Set up, then straight into exploring the local sites. First stop was the lookout tower. Situated only a few kilometres out of the Maldon Township, this lookout offered epic 360 degree views of the surrounds. Our next stop was to another lookout point. For some reason, our GPS decided a steep four-wheel drive track was the quickest route. Just a few muddy ruts and inclines to go through. No biggie. somehow missed the lookout and ended up at the old British mine ruins. A nice 10 minute stroll around the ruins to stretch the legs. We then headed into the town of Castlemaine and straight to the old jail for a look. 
we decided not to go in and just look from the outside. It was time for lunch, so we headed down the road to the mill for something to eat before heading out to the old Garfield water wheel. Another cool piece of history to have a squiz around up. We spent the rest of the afternoon having a look around the Malden Main Street. Seeing all the old architecture and original building fronts was really cool. It felt like a step back in time. It was then that time again to make tracks. We did stop in at the old dredge on the way out for a look. Quite interesting to learn how the dredge came to be all the way out here. We had our eyes set on Melbourne, but stopped in at two last spots on the track down. The first spot was the beautiful Cascades. A worthy detour off the highway. We had the whole place to ourselves. Another quick stop at Turpin Falls, then it was full steam to Melbourne. Join us next time as we have a look around Melbourne and prepare for our upcoming Tassie trip. Ew! Smash that subscribe button, legends.